At first glance, it would be easy to mistake a leaf of striped japonica corn for a tapestry, but the striking variegated leaves are just a small part of this edible ornamental's charm. The Portuguese introduced flint corn to Japan in the late 16th century, but it remained relatively obscure. For religious and social reasons, Japan had developed a rich vegetarian tradition known as Shojin Ryori. It spread with the popularity of Zen Buddhism beginning in the late 12th century. Flint corn was for animals, not for people, and even the law forbid it, some Japanese still raised and ate meat. Corn didn't begin to turn up in Japanese fields much until the Meiji period of the late 19th and early 20th century, a time of modernization after Japan had reopened trade with the West. In 1872, Emperor Meiji ate meat for his New Year's meal, giving the rest of the country permission to follow suit. With American help, the northern island of Hokkaido became an agricultural laboratory of sorts for raising corn and livestock. And along the way, Japanese discovered that corn had tasty uses beyond animal feed. Striped japonica was developed during this resurgence of interest in corn. This variety, also known as Z maize japonica, came to the U.S. by way of an American diplomat named Thomas Hogg, Jr. In 1864, he sent the seeds to his brother James, a wealthy horticulturalist in New York. The Hogs built an impressive collection of Japanese and Asiatic plants, but it was nurseryman S.B. Parsons who found a way to get them to the public. Not everything Hogg collected is so beautiful as striped japonica. He also imported such infamous invasive plants as Japanese honeysuckle and kudzu, the scourge of the American South. The Dexter Snow Catalog of Springfield, Massachusetts was one of the first American seed distributors to offer striped japonica in 1866. Others followed the New York seed houses J.M. Thorburn and Alfred Bridgman in 1868. B.K. Bliss's 1871 catalog called it another splendid novelty from Japan, saying nothing in the way of a foliage plant can exceed in gracefulness and beauty. This Japanese corn rode a wave of popularity for its striking resemblance to the Arunda Donax variegata, an expensive and finicky giant reed grass used in landscape gardens. In her 1870 book, New and Rare Beautiful Leaved Plants, Shirley Hibbard called it the best poor man's subtropical plant in cultivation. Striped japonica was embraced for its beauty, but the crimson black kernels, high in anthocyanins, an antioxidant, also make a fine meal when they are dried and ground. The plants with their wine-colored tassels can grow six feet tall. Pollen drift from GMO corn made it very challenging to find a pure strain of this heirloom variety, but after years of searching, Baker Creek is pleased to offer you this stunning treasure from historic Japan. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.